Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Rocket Hospitality Beverly Stadium for this afternoon's National League South game between Hampton and Richmond Borough and Oxford City. So, the referee gets the game underway, hit forward long by Dean Inman towards Tommy Wood, headed clear, and it's going to go out for a throw. So, it's Fernandez who's going to line this toe up. Down the line towards Wood, Tommy Wood's header comes out to Jake Gray. Jake Gray to Deadfield. Crossfield pass to Wishart to this near side. He's got Curran Brown outside. Uses, uses him. Ball into the cross by Curran Brown to the back post just behind Tommy Wood. So Zach McEachern coming forward. Ball over the ball forward by Fleet. Oxford City in some space on the far side. Good cover. And there's a good shot here. And that's well blocked there by Fernandez. So it's a free kick, some 10 metres in from the touchline. Jake Gray to take it to the back post. Ball's headed clear. Picked up by Whittingham right on the touchline over on the far side. Back into the box. And ball's loose in there. Comes back to Dunn to the back post. Inman. Inman. The header goes above the bar. Close. That was a definite chance. Oh, if there's somebody you want to see get a goal of the bev, it's Tommy Wood, and we all thought he'd done it there. We thought he'd just timed, just got the height and distance right, as you said, just narrowly over the bar. So. So, great. Clips it in low. Intercepted by Parker. Cohen Brown chests it down, tries the shot, doesn't get anything on it. Comes back to Shane Dunn, Shane Dunn oh, tries one from oh. distance. And that was just came off the edge of his foot and ended up going wide. But oh, I thought we were going to get a Vincent company at Leicester City moment there. A couple of people. So, across to the back post. And it comes definitely because the back post. It was a shot actually. Trying for the top corner, Alan Julian's top left corner. And Jules had to throw himself across there to get his hand on that one. Falls at his feet quite nicely, cuts inside, finds Gray just inside the penalty area. Deadfield picks it up again, finds Curran Brown. Connor Curran Brown cuts for the byline, into the near post. Comes to Jake Gray, Jake Gray manages to get it back into the back post. There's bodies in there. And I'm not sure is that a goal, it's a goal kick. I thought for a second that it came off an Oxford City player, but Tommy Wood was in there, managed to get a foot on the ball, but it just went wide of the post. But that's McKechn coming forward now. Ball into the box, Ooh. well into the box, ball forward. Ends up at the feet of Tommy Wood, Curran Brown picks it up again. He's everywhere at the moment as Connor Curran Brown is managed to get his win, win his way into the box. Down. The referee oh. is just outside the box. That can only have been a metre or two outside the box over on the far side. And not here, there's not a lot of descent from the Hampton support side but a uh, very dangerous position and it's you know it's a very tricky one to to try and defend there's going to be so many bodies in and around the goalkeeper yeah. Matthews needs to be strong those of you who are familiar with field hockey will understand the concept of a short corner that's pretty much what this is it's right on the edge of the box and it's almost right on the goal line that's pretty much you know the value of it to the Beavers now into the back post there's bodies in there Tommy Wood, is it Tommy Wood? I think it's Louis Fernandez. If it's Louis Fernandez, that could not be a better goal for the Beavers. Yes, it's Louis Fernandez who's got on the end of that one. It was a great little dink into the centre of the six-yard box. Fantastic, just what we needed. Thought maybe the chance had gone with the free kick given instead of the penalty, but a pinpoint delivery right into the mix, right into the danger area. Too many bodies for Matthews to get through. And Louis Fernandez, as you normally see in the other box, rises highest and pokes it home. Richard, he's got Wood in front of him, he's got Gray, but he finds Dunn on this near side chain. Dunn, right by the touchline, in front of the terrace. Plays it down the line for Whittingham, Alfie Whittingham getting to the line. Tries to get the ball into the box, but there's a defender in his way. Still got the ball, manages to find Jake Gray. Jake Gray again going to the corner, looking for some space. Shane Dunn with the cross into the box, took a deflection and went straight up in the air. And it was an easy take for Archie Matthews. And halfway, plays it back to Tommy Davis. Tommy Davis, oh dear, that was a nasty bobble on that one. Went up, Louis Hernandez got his head on the ball, Whittingham turns inside, 
finds Inman. Inman inside the centre circle, cross field towards Curran Brown. He's managed to get hold of the ball because Williams Bushel couldn't control it. Turns inside into the near post, headed away there by Burley. I think, I think Louis Fernandez, apart from the goal as well, has looked superb, especially coming back from that injury. Sam Deadfield has gone down. Yeah, that's a penalty. penalty. Yeah. penalty. Sam Deadfield was driving into the box, it looked like he'd found a little bit of space. Sam Deadfield, possibly the calmest man on the pitch, runs up, takes the it's the penalty it's saved there by Matthews and he's pushed it wide for a corner Sam Deadfield's added to that list Oxford City could have got the ball inside the Hampton penalty area comes back to Yosha Fano that ball's loose it's gone into the back of the net there's no offside no offside it's Yosha Fano I think no it's Parker Josh Parker stabs home the rebound a shot in from McEachran was saved by Alan Julian but the rebound fell to Parker and he was able to just put it home to level the score. Well, I suspect in the next few minutes we'll find out what his plan is. Ball finds Connor Curran Brown over on that far side, he's making pace, brought down again. If that's number five Andre Burley he's in trouble. Burley was, I think Burley was booked in the first half and he's brought Connor Curran Brown down. It's a taking yellow card. a long time. Ref, his referee decided that's a yellow card challenge. He has given there some... Yes, go. it was. As it was. And that's a red card for Andre Burley. Comes back out to Dan Wishart. Dan Wishart looks to play to the Whittingham. It comes loose back into the box. Alfie Whittingham with the blast. And that's an even higher shot than what the Watford City won. That's gone over the Alan Simpson stand. And it's only Wishart and... Curran Brown outside, but to the, well, to the back post, there's Davis there, there was Come on. Inman there, it's gone over the back post, back into the near post, it's, it's gone in, no. No. no, it's cleared off the line there by Bushel, where Williams Bushel, for all the world that had crossed the line, but Williams Bushel got there and cleared the ball off the line, Hampton thought they'd got the winner, and it's Oxford City now, not quite hanging on by their fingertips, but they're definitely not finding it easier, as much as they did when they got the equaliser. Bouchard cuts inside, finds Shane Dunn. Shane Dunn, he's got Connor Curran Brown to play. Finds good control there from Curran Brown. He's under pressure there, trying to get the ball from out under his feet. Comes back to Dunn. Shane Dunn hits one. It gets blocked. Oxford City trying to come away. Good work there from Jake Gray to slow it all down. Parker. Parker trying to come forward. Cards ends up going back towards his own box. And the play stopped because of an Oxford City player. It's down on them. Where they are in the table, how their goal scoring's been. I mean, it's tough for us to score one at times. Ball forward there, it's a rough free, cool free kick. And Whittingham picks it up, drives into the box, into the centre, just behind Tommy Wood. Tommy Hood takes it back. It's Jake Gray with the shot. There's a bit of a scramble in the box, it's cleared. And Oxford City get the ball away, and that was a great... Tries to play Cullen Brown in. Doesn't quite work. McEachran's there to tidy up. Coyle there, he's trapped on his own goal line, and that's a great win there by Wissingham. It's there in the box with Deadfield, Tom Deadfield, ball's loose, Morning. comes off the Oxford City player, and that's going to be a corner. Swings it in, that's a better corner towards Don. The, the header comes back out to Gray, Just get in. and then to Illich. Illich gets the ball into the box, it's hacked away there. Illich gets his chest on, chest on the ball, it's kept in play, comes all the way back to Wishart. Dan Wishart in front of the Oxford City box. Don't lose it. He's driving forward now. He's found some space. It's with Inman. Dean Inman to the back post towards Tommy Davis. And good work there to find Illich. Illich again driving into the box, getting to the goal line. And that's what the referee says there's nothing in that and it's a goal kick. His own way he's had a quietly effective game in the centre of midfield. Davis out wide towards Stefan Illich and on this pitch that will probably stay in it does Davis Illich to the corner flag cuts inside finds Gray Jake Gray tees up done the shot hits the defender collected by Gray tidied up back into the box there to the near post it's good work from Carroll to try and get the ball away the clearance hits the Hampton player ball comes back to Fernandez. Louis Fernandez tries the shot from Dean Inman to stay, stand up there. 
Charlie. 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 Charlie George. Simple ball to Jake Gray. Finds Jake Gray in a little bit of space. Kevin Brown right on the touchline. Gets the ball into the box. Comes out to Wishart. Down, down Wishart. <laughs> Sends it out wide to Illich. Illich right by the touchline. Looking to come inside, trying to get round his man. Manages is just about to stay on his feet, twisting and turning. Corner. Wins the corner. It's Jake Gray with the corner on the far side. Spins it into the back post. There's bodies in there, the ball's loose, and Matthews drops on it and manages to take the sting out of the action. And the referee decides that that is the final action for this afternoon. It's another point for the Beavers.